We begin with breaking news. We're learning more this noon about a deadly shooting early this morning outside of a Catonsville giant grocery store. A robbery suspect is dead, and the off duty police officer who opened fire says that he was dragged when that suspect tried to flee. WJZ is live at Baltimore County Police Headquarters, where police just updated this investigation. Mike Shu has new information. Good afternoon, Mike. Well, good afternoon, Jess. Good afternoon, everyone. The working as an off duty security guard at that Catonsville Giant, the officer was authorized to wear his regular Baltimore County police uniform. And that is how he was dressed when he came upon a suspected thief cleaning out the Giant. What happened inside this Giant just before 4 a.m. was overshadowed by what happened just outside the front doors involving this old Lincoln with North Carolina plates. Inside, an off duty county officer is working overnight as a security guard. The officer saw the suspect in the store with a couple of canvas grocery bags that he'd brought in himself. He saw him starting to fill those up with merchandise in the detergent aisle and followed the suspect as he passed all of the working registers and then exited the giant store. Once outside, police say somehow the officer is entangled with the Lincoln and is dragged over a hundred feet. At some point during that conversation, the vehicle began to accelerate and the suspect began to flee the scene in the vehicle. Somehow the officer was trapped and was dragged by that vehicle approximately 108 feet as the suspect, as the suspect fled the scene. During that time while he was being dragged, he was able to retrieve his firearm and began to fire shots at the suspect, ultimately killing him and causing the vehicle to come to a stop. The coroner comes to remove the suspect's body. An accomplice is overcome, and he's taken to the hospital. As for the officer... The officer is in good condition. Now, no word on the officer's years of experience or precinct. We also are awaiting word of the details about the suspect and how he is connected to that car with North Carolina plates. I'm Mike Shue, WJZ Eyewitness News reporting live in Towson. Back to you. Continue to follow this story, and we'll have much more today at 4, 5, and 6.